And I just wanted to share with you my stables experience. You know, I'm a small corporate owner, and I don't have a lot of money, nor do I have a lot of time. And on December 18th, I purchased a filing cabinet from Staples Business Depot with the promised delivery date of the 23rd. Now, obviously, realizing it was Christmas. <laughs> I didn't think that it would show up probably, you know, on time. However, it took almost three weeks for them to deliver this item to me. And then when it finally arrived, it was completely destroyed. Over 30 dents in the side. The top filing cabinet part didn't open. The bottom filing cabinet part wouldn't open. Then, when I asked for them to do an exchange, it wasn't that simple. They told me they had to recharge me for the item. So now they're charging my credit card twice for an item I've only got bought once. So they could then exchange the item for me. As far as I knew, an exchange is where somebody basically brings that item back, or in this case has them pick it up and they bring me a new one. I don't know where the second billing is coming from. So right now what I'm gonna do is take a second to show you the type of damage this thing showed up with new out of the box. And this is the filing cabinet. And as you can see, it doesn't open. It has nothing to do with the key. Doesn't matter which way the key turns. The key doesn't even turn all the way, as you can see there, because it's broken on the inside. And I'd just like to comment that it's been almost a month now. So even after that three weeks, it's been almost eight days since they uh, have promised to exchange it for me. When I did originally open it up with the key before it got stuck, I noticed this. Now look at that. Is that how a filing cabinet's supposed to come? Today, when I called, to ask them to do it, I was informed that I would have to wait 10 more days to have the new one delivered via UPS again. Even though I had been promised it would be delivered by the guys at the Staples store, who I know are going to do at least a slightly better job. There's a bunch of crushes where it's been crushed down. And if you notice here, in the back it's a little too dark unfortunately, but it's very crushed down there and I'm pretty sure that's what's stopping the track and causing this door not to open. Needless to say, I am very off to have over $400 tied up in something like this or close to $400 tied up in something like this and uh, today I've told them to take the item back uh, because they basically ripped me off, they're overcharging me, they're holding my business up and they're costing me money. I'm not sure why Staples has this corporate policy but it certainly isn't one that works well for them or for the people shopping in their stores. Anyway, my name is Taylor Steele and I hope that this moment I shared with you has taught you some sort of lesson and you're going to stay away from Staples. Alright, thanks.